Flux AI Image Generator is an innovative and powerful tool that allows users to create highly detailed images in various styles. One of its standout features is the ability to use it online, making it accessible even if you don't have a high-performance graphics card on your computer. Depending on the platform, you can access Flux AI for free, or with daily credits provided at no cost. In this guide, I'll walk you through the steps to access Flux AI without spending a dime, and provide you with some prompt tips to help you create stunning images. Additionally, I'll introduce you to a website where you can use Flux AI online, unlocking its full potential for generating incredible visuals. Whether you're a novice or an experienced creator, this guide will equip you with the knowledge to make the most of this tool and enhance your image generation process. On the GitHub page, you can explore all the services where Flux models are active. To start using these services, you'll need to add a payment method. If you don't mind paying, these services are worth trying out. For those with a powerful system, you can install Flux locally. On the Black Forest Labs website, you'll find examples and explanations of the different models available. Flux offers three models, Flux Pro, which delivers the highest quality and detail. Flux, one, providing state-of-the-art image generation with top-notch prompt accuracy, visual quality, image detail, and output diversity. And Flux Dev, designed for local development and personal use, offering high quality with the fastest performance. Some icons within each section allow you to access these models directly, but be aware that Hugging Face is the only free option, and it can sometimes be slow. Other services like replicate.com, foul.ai and mystic.ai are also available. Among these, let's focus on the Glyph website. With each account, you can create up to 20 images per day. Simply press the sign in button and log in with your account. Then press build, click on the plus icon, and in the generation section, select image generator. For example, try entering the prompt. Generate the image of a blue rabbit holding a placard that says, I love you all. He is walking along the street of California. You can explore all the image generation models and experiment with them one by one. Additionally, you can adjust the image size, prompt strength, and even add negative prompts like blur and collage if needed. Finally, click run this glyph to generate the image. And here is our result. As you can see, the result is impressive, despite a minor glitch in the text. With multiple generations, you're likely to get the desired output. So you can relax and let's create some more images. Now stick with me as we generate some images using the Pro Image Generation model. Just as you can see, the images are of great quality and look already upscaled. Another option to use Flues is the Tensor Art website. 
With this AI tool, you can generate several images using the Flux model. So let us go ahead to use the website to generate these images. Tensor Art has embedded in it several models for your image generation and so much more. You have the SD3, Hunyuan DIT model and so much more. But today we shall be talking about the Flux model. So let us do this together. So when you come here to Tensor Art, the first thing would be to register an account with this website. Then you click on Generate. And there you are going to see where to paste your prompt. Paste your prompt. Of course, we're going to be using the same prompt we used in the Glyph website. Paste it. And then you could add some negative prompts, just like what you can see on the screen here. The first prompt says, A big dark brown lion dressed in a cowboy attire with a cowboy hat stood in the middle of the street, with houses beside him left and right. He wears a bullet around his neck and shows angry expressions. Let's not forget the negative prompt. The negative prompt that I use is on the screen so you can write it down if you want. And then scroll up to the model here, click on it, and you would see the Stable Diffusion 3 model, Hunyuan model. And then here you have the Flux 1 model. Click on it. Scroll up to choose an aspect ratio. Click the landscape. Scroll up. Make sure to set the upscale to 1.5 and then click on Generate. It is going to take a minute to generate, so let us wait a little as it generates. And there you have it. The image is seriously of great quality. No cap guys, this is a powerful tool to use for your image generation. You can place in the comment section what you think about this image generated by Flux inside TensorArt, but for me, it is a go-go AI model to use for any project of yours. So let us just sit back while we do the others together. But before we continue, here are the prompts I will be using for image generation. So the second prompt is, generate the image of a woman with long hair, dark skinned, running on the highway. A photorealistic painting, rich texture image. And the third prompt says, generate an image of the Pharaoh of Egypt with an angry expression, he is in the palace. So let us do this together. And here you have it guys, no cap. This image of Pharaoh is really of great quality. Another option to use Flux is to use the Flux Pro website. Do have it in mind that whatever generations you make here would be public. So it is very important to note this. The name of this website is fluxpro.art. To get started, register with the website and then paste in your prompt in the prompt section. But you must note that to get a good result, you must set the angles of your object or character. I will be showing some examples here just for you. For proper understanding, here are the little things to take note of. Number one, a low angle photograph is taken from below the object, while a high angle shot is taken from above the Number two, if you want the image to be well focused with its background blur, then you can add bokeh or just use the word bokeh photograph, bokeh image, etc. And to see an image taken from above, you could use the bird's eye view. While the top down view is used to look down on an object or subject from above, also, this could make you see the surroundings of the subject. I hope this helps for better image generation using the Flux model. The most important thing here is to learn from the images you see that are already generated and available in the website. This could give you an idea of what you could do or improve upon. Thank you so much for sticking with me until the end of this video. As a token of my appreciation, I'm excited to announce a giveaway just for my subscribers. I'm giving away a 40-day access to a premium AI tool, absolutely free. This is my way of saying thank you for your continued support. To enter the giveaway, simply like this video and leave a comment below.
I'll be announcing the winner in my next video, so stay tuned. Before you go, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Thanks again for watching and good luck.